Okay. Back in 2005, there were no operating system for grids. By creating an operating system, we want to bring the grid to standard users. We want to simplify the use of grid infrastructure by providing the same interface that you have with your local operating system on your workstation. And so with a grid operating system, you have a comprehensive set of services with a stable interface and uh, you don't need to install, configure many tools that have not been designed to work together. ExtremeFS is a distributed and replicated file system with POSIX semantics. The main advantages are accessibility from anywhere in the world, so you can access your files on any, any place you are, regardless of your access device. You can use a mobile device like a handheld or a smartphone, you can also use a laptop or even your, your desktop PC and your files will be available and you can use them and access them. The bioinformatics community requires a lot of computational power and managing large volume of data and streamers help in managing in meeting those challenges in an easy way. So we we are working in providing um, tools that help uh, the end user communities in uh, in solving those problems. So for instance, within the project, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center has developed a mechanism to uh, a, a tool called SuperScalar which allows to convert a sequential program into a parallel one. And that has been an example is a bioinformatics application. Grid application programming is well known as being really hard, which has to do with the interfaces that come with all the middlewares, and we did really a, a radical cut for ExtremeOS here. So we really started to focus the complete API for ExtremeOS on the Saga API that is a standard coming from OGF and we've exposed everything through the Saga interface, which makes all applications really independent of details of the underlying system. And it also, well, the S of Saga stands for simple, and that's really a major design issue here. So we really propose a, or provide a simple API, and that works pretty well for Extreme One. In a grid, uh, it, we assume that the uh, computers are located in different sites, but on these sites, usually uh, there are a lot of computers and they are, uh, in fact, they are clusters. The Carrigate system has been used by a company uh, which had an application which, need, uh, which needed a lot, a lot of memory, some hundreds of gigabytes memory. They had the choice to uh, either buy a big SMP, which is really, really expensive, or either using a cluster but on the cluster they, can, they could not use the wall memory of the cluster. So thanks to the Kerrigate system, th this application could run with all the memory of the cluster. Classical grid uh, system, uh, mainly basically a batch system, uh, when users submit application for execution, these applications are first queued until the, the resource broker finds resource to execute them. Uh, Extreme OS is basically a standard POSIX uh, system so that integrating uh, interactive application, the, the application are run immediately. Extreme OS finds resource to execute them. And so, uh, uh, as all POSIX applications, uh, this can be interactive.
In relation to security, Streamo S refers to um, scalability. We are separating the local managing of resources from managing virtual organization and users. And also we are exploiting some of the Linux and technology for isolation, like Linux container, in order to achieve isolation of jobs management. Domain administrators are, in general, very reluctant, reluctant to install new software, you know, the, which, where the security has not been fully evaluated. We have proof that Extreme OS is more secure than other means. So this is uh, the plus of Extreme OS, I think. SAP is interested in XtremeOS as a platform for hosting complex multi-tier business applications. SAP was leading the overall performance evaluation of XtremeOS. Together with eight other industrial and academic partners, we were testing the performance, scalability, usability and reliability of XtremeOS. We have a set of 19 applications which are actually running on XtremeOS and which benefit from uh, various features of uh, the system developed. And finally, the checkpointing and migration capabilities of XtremeOS can provide for a reliable SAP system landscape management. Initially, StreamWest was developed using uh, Mondriva and Asianux distribution. Now we, are, we have new packaging, uh, we have Debian pack packaging and we plan to distribute uh, the Ubuntu version and other CentOS versions. Another way to install StreamOS is to install virtual machine that we provide on our website. For people who don't want to install machine or install ISOs, we also provide means to try on our... Um, we have deployed an open testbed where everyone can go and test uh, StreamOS and run the application. I think that the last four years um, made a foundation for the ExtremeOS system. So in this sense, it's uh, some beginning. We all publish our results in the uh, research community, but we also would like to attract people to use our system. And uh, summer school is an ideal place to do so. We can show the people, uh, teach the people about the system, have hands-on sessions on it, and they they uh, can, can use it. And I, I think uh, it's important to have uh, summer schools in the future to, uh, to grow the community of users and to, uh, to present the future developments that there will be. Download it. Experiment with it. Try it out. Yes, sure. We offer in the webpage all, all the facilities. Please.